and basically the main green surface is that hill on the other side which was a scene of some of the our PE classes when was when I was attending the Shintwit high school or gymnasium which is further ahead so yeah a couple of times we had to run from the school across the street up the hill up the hill and I know that one time we were basically recording our heart rate and blood pressure during the run and there is another Hofer and DM I think Drogeri Mark so in the last year in couple of basically what more than 10 years Hofer and also Lidl starting to build a lot of branches around Slovenia and basically they become a large part of economy but the Mercator which you could see the before is still the largest retail chain in Slovenia but currently well several years ago it was sold to a Croatian company and that the Croatian company went bust and basically now the largest shareholders of the Croatian company are Russian banks and I believe American hedge fund so currently there are political negotiations regarding the future of Mercator and the Croatian company Konzum which you know which was basically the largest retail company in the former Yugoslavia with acquisition of several state or previously state-owned retail companies in the former countries of Yugoslavia oh Lisa managed to see a squirrel which is there no 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 no, no. and she moved up Lizzy, Pridna, pizza, pizza, pizza. Ukrok, ukrok, ukrok. Lizzy, Lizzy, ukrok. Pima, ne bomo čakal. Pima, pima sem. Liza, ukrok, Pridna, sem, sem. Liza, tako, Pridna. I think that that's the first time in her life that she spotted a squirrel before me. And here is, as you can see, some older buildings. And basically this is the new part of Shintwit with all the... with all the apartment buildings. And the, there are some older buildings on the other side of the street. Chakamo, chakamo. Red. So while there were some important companies here after the Second World War, the largest, let's say, employer or organization was a military barracks of the then Yugoslav National Army, 
which is was is was located in that direction until so Yugoslav National Army was here until 1991 until the independence of Slovenia and a lot there were a lot of these apartment buildings built for the officers families but of course also for other that you can uh, hear all of this because if there are walls near the street the, then the sound bounces off of them and it's much harder for you to hear what I'm speaking Of course, because of the noise from the road, they built these mounds, these earthly barriers with trees to at least dampen some of the sound and made it a little bit tolerable, tolerable for the residents. So in that building across the street is one of the best bakeries around here in Ljubljana. Or basically a pastry shop would be a better uh, word for it. So they don't bake bread and such, but they specialize in biscuits, cakes and that sort of stuff. Mainly biscuits. They have uh, basically several sorts, kinds of them, and they don't basically change the recipe. And I think the bakery, the pastry shop, is here for more than 80 years now. So yeah, quite a lot of tradition. And lately they all, as you can see, they are also building new multi-stories, multi-apartment buildings nestled under the hill so I don't know how long it will last all this greenery the forest because it's not protected as a sanctuary or a national park or a local park And, and of course it's a prime spot not in the city center but just next to the main traffic artery to the city center Kozolet, so haystack. So this was 
before the Second World War, mainly uh, rural rural area. So farmers, there are still some farms around here, but there are very few of them left. because most of the land on this plateau was used to build new buildings so the on the lower plateau which we'll, we will see later is basically still somewhat undeveloped and still used for farming. So basically this is a very nice contrast. A large apartment buildings on one side of the street and houses and former farms like this one on the other side. <laughs> 